We don't have any meeting minutes because I've been focused on grant work. Got it. <laughs> That's super yeah. easy. Um, so staffing, of course, Kelly is just um, up staffing. Do you want to do me? I'm quick. Yeah, let's do you. Okay, so um, Rich helped me fill out this work, um, paperwork. He, um, I had asked for. Um, the grounds, playground equipment, gym, classroom, teacher's room, bathrooms, outdoor spigot, refrigerator, softball bases, laptop, and smart board. He okayed all of that. So the you're going to have the teacher's room as well as the kindergarten room? Right? All right. Okay, is that because of the refrigeration? or? No, he's going to move the refrigerator down. Oh, okay. um, he's going to have that moved down to the kindergarten. But, um, he wanted to leave that on there. I put everything we possibly could. Yeah, no, we could the leave. more the better. Yeah. Um, because when he needs that kindergarten room to be set up for kindergarten, that at least will give us another spot. Can you run down the list again? So we've got the teacher's room, yep. the refrigerator goes to so, the A room. Yeah, so it's outdoor spigot for the whole time. Okay. Grounds and playground, whole time. Teacher's room. Um, it says, okay, full term, please use only after kindergarten room becomes unavailable. So it's just a matter of timing. But, you, but that's not big enough to do any events in there. No, no, no. It but would, but that in the past, it's been used to house stuff. Oh, okay. You know, and they used, they kept like their snack bar stuff in yep. that and yep. all of that. Um, bathrooms are fine. Kindergarten room until the end of the day on August 1st. So we still have, what, three weeks after Because that? that has to be cleaned and yes. the new person. So where do they go from there if the gym's not available? They can still have a hall and a gym. He still doesn't have a date on the yeah. gym. It says, you know, he'll let us know as soon as possible. So there's no classroom? No, because... Um, he suggested that we ask the town if they would do a tent. What about the sure? pavilion? No pavilion? Mm -hmm. No. no. They, they came to the pavilion because the monies have to be used for that year's event and school year. So, so no, it's, it's so it ends in June 30th. Okay. Um, can I go back to what, so what did you say about the, the other classrooms, why we couldn't have any other classrooms? Because they need to be They need to be and set up, up, and there's two new teachers going down there, so there's new furniture, you know. And you just don't want to have someone go in there after it's been cleaned, because then it has to be cleaned again. Right. And I mean, that wants, makes sense, but. He wants to give them time in their rooms to set up. Like last year, um, Katie Riendo, we really took her to the end, and he just felt it was stressful for her. Mm -hmm. She didn't complain, mm -hmm. but he just wanted, and the woman who is going into kindergarten is a branch. She just, she was an intern in Dover, Uber. I think. They're um, both they're coming. Very, over. very excited about her. Um, so she's really going to need. She wants to get to her room set up. Yeah. Can you remind me, so down that hallway, do yeah. they still have... Is that done? No, well, that's on the other side of the building. Okay, and those so floors are all classrooms down there now. Yeah. Okay. The library. The library, there. but you can't get me in the library. Yeah. Anything. Yeah. Okay. So, so, but so, they so potentially for three weeks. So they really need three weeks, four weeks to set up a room. Absolutely. I, don't know. I find that. It has ridiculous first of all, the room has to be clean. <laughs> well, it has to be clean. It has to be clean. The floors get waxed. The walls get washed. All of that gets done. And before then they can go in. The time for the before yeah. the teacher can go right. in. Right. Yeah. So he suggested asking the town for a tent. Yeah. Kind of tent. You know, like you know, like they do at parties. Besides the big one. Oh, oh, just a, a, like a canopy type tent. Yeah. Okay. Because he can't do the pavilion thing. I mean, he's still hoping at some point. I have no idea how much he's.
But he said we can use all the chairs, the tables, any of that stuff. It's just so the bottom line is that we need to figure out what we're going to do for three weeks, assuming that the gym floors are going to be done still around that, that, time, that time period. Anyways. Okay. And can you sign this or you sign this? He said either, either mm -hmm. the select board. Any of you. Mm -hmm. What am I signing? It's uh, use of building. Oh, so we have, you said laptop, what other? Smart board. Smart board. Yeah. Any of the gym equipment, the bases, any of that stuff. Yes. Okay. Yes. Outdoor space. Outdoor space. That's good. Yep. Yeah. Outdoor space. You should get one that has the two. That splits. Yeah. The split one. Um. So. I was a teacher. I didn't get three weeks of set of my room. <laughs> I'm thinking though. Are you a teacher? Yes. I taught for two years middle school. I got like a week. <laughs> if we, well, it'll take her longer. Yeah, I, I know. Stuff. I'm just, I'm, I'm a little grumpy because I feel grumpy. like, I think, I it's just feel like we're being pushed out. We don't have a gym, and now we have. Well, we don't know about the gym yet. They don't have any, any information on the gym. Because it, well, the gym will be, it will either be sticky or it will be done in August. I mean, I mean, if he doesn't get anybody to do it. Then they oh, you're thinking well, that they want to have anybody? I don't think he doesn't have anything, anything yet. Oh, well, that's okay. kind of strange to me that they don't have any, anybody um, or any proposals or anything like that. Well, nothing is. It's jobs now. Um, yeah, that's. I mean, they they they, everyone they does it in the summer. Right. You know, that and where they have a right? Okay. You know, they got bigger things. So here's what we do: bigger fish to fry. So we we could we could push back, but it's probably not going to work. So what we should do is start thinking about a plan B. Um, in the event that they do end up getting somebody to contract the floors. So we should start thinking about that. Um, um, we could do, we could think about a tent, or we could think about maybe asking the garrison down here in the corner. So if we could do some sort of situation. Um, garrison players, if they're not doing any, any of their activities for three weeks. No, that would be a busing know. issue, though. But they do do well, it. and drop them all. Oh, true. But they do do a summer camp. I do. I don't they think do it goes into August, though. So I can double check on yeah, that. I don't. I guess it a year, you know, years ago. Mm -hmm. so I, don't I can double check on that, but uh, I mean, it, it's, it's a thought, mm -hmm. or we just find out how many kids we actually got for August, and then maybe I don't know. I don't know yet. I'll have to figure it out. Regardless. But how about know. well? How about this? How about can we use? any room in the annex like if if we're shutting off if we're getting shut off the whole not the annex sorry the main, main the main building i don't know because we have a, the same thing and the floors are being done in the main building they should be tiled i don't know when that's happening. so once it's clean they're not gonna let anybody use them mm. well we know that monday and friday afternoons that they're going to be off site so mondays and fridays for those well, two, only half a day on Friday. Half a day on Fridays. Those two days will be off. We can. Tr I can go back to the Wentworth house and say we need to do it because I gave them the last three weeks of camp. I can take July 29th off the table, and that'll be a Wednesday afternoon where the camp could possibly another half day that they're not having to be at the school and. I'm in the process of writing grants asking for money. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. But if you can get one of those, like, you know, 10 stages at weddings and stuff. The ones that have sides. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm worried about box pits. But can get the money. And the, we, ha we had the discussion a couple years ago that those can't stay up over the weekend because, like, a rainstorm or something or weather could damage that. I thought that was, was the pop-ups. Yeah, well, maybe. I mean, those are pretty sturdy. Yeah. I mean, because they, like, aren't they tied down yeah. like, in sections because they're so long and, and stuff. So very expensive. Mm -hmm. I don't know where we would... Um, I mean, it's an alternative, and we still have inside if we need to. Sure, we've got just the hallway, but... 
What about the libraries? They have, it's not a lot of space, but they have that community room attached to the library. Yeah, it's small though. I mean, well, you're talking about how many kids now? 40 something? And that's, 40. Not, and that's not including teen, right? Well, teen is, teens they're off, always on, off, always off. Okay, so we don't have to worry about them, but I mean, you probably could get 10 to 20 more kids that that room would hold them. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't think. <clears throat> I would even say probably cameras and play as it wouldn't either. Well, are you talking up in the um, theater no, area no, or downstairs? No, downstairs. Yeah, I think they would have both areas too, I yeah. would imagine, but... I'm not even sure if it's anything that they would consider. Yeah. Okay, I think there's a Taylor rental type thing online. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or if there's <laughs> one that, um, Maybe like Taylor Marshall's donated at Holmesburg. True. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Um, so um, rain plant tents. Marshall's. Marshall's. Sperry tents. Who could have used a maker of Sperry tents? No. That's my door around Kittery. Rain Plan Tent is what it's called. <laughs> well, all right. I'll submit my name to that. Let's <laughs> get one that doesn't miss any of those good ones. <laughs> How about my in law's barn? I, I can't tell you what the danger would be. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I don't know what barn you're talking about. <laughs> there's, there's a slight amount of stuff in there, mm -hmm. but... I mean, they could clean it. Oh, God. You know, that could be their, their job. <laughs> things step around. Now, there is, I believe, a um, open unit where Doodle Buds was. I wonder if that would be an option. Remember the mill? Do they have any big space? Any what's that? Remember the mill? But this is right on First Street. Uh, French Street. French Street. Yeah, You'd right have to talk to the Mick. Yeah. The Mick Construction owns that building. Yeah. I mean, um, how big? It, how big is that? I know it. it she cut it in half. Half, because that uh, is where the other restaurant went. But. And she said, with her stuff in there, like tables and chairs, and the stuff along the wall, she tried to keep it to. 25, 30 people. Because mm -hmm. you would need to have tables for like 40 to 60. Um. And yes, I would say there used to be a church on the fifth floor of the mill that you're in, Kelly. Yeah, they've, they've divided those rooms up quite a bit. I could definitely ask Brian. I could. D, put that on my list of things to do. I could ask him while I'm down at the building to see if there's any space down there. That okay. They had that place that had all the furniture in it. Is that place still there? The is, it used to be on the fifth floor where the church was, the estate. Um, they've divided all that, where the church, but they've divided yeah. all that into separate office buildings now. So yeah. it's not even... Oh, but they... When I was there in November, they were selling furniture, like estate furniture, out oh. there. I went there to the open mills this past week and I went there. Or this past month. So. Okay, well, we've got a bunch of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, you'll check out the mill space. You can move Wentworth I got uh, today yeah. in August, which will help. And we had. The cost of tags. Um, and you're going to look at garrison players, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, no, I have thought oh, I just lost it. All right. I sent something to Sperry Tent Rental. Um. Okay, so we'll, we'll keep working on that. Um, Kelly. Yes. Staffing. What do we got going on? Do we need to go into non-public? Yeah. That might be a good idea. Do you think we need to go into non-public? She said it would probably sure. be a good idea. Oh. Sorry. Sorry, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> going into non-public for personnel issue. Sorry. 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 
Lori. Yeah. David. Kelly. Um, now that we have Lori, so yes. when um, when can we start um, meeting with her? Because I know I've got a lot to talk about with her. <laughs> so I just. Well, I was a little confused about, so she, I actually texted, or, or emailed her today. Um, I was thinking that the letter had to go through, so she's actually been hired. Yes? Well, I had my name and on me. I signed it. Okay. So, so she just, we don't, she needs to sign that piece of paper. We need to send it out. And okay. once she signs it, and, and then we, we can start, it, then she's term. hired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, the one thing that we want to talk about is, though, that, her daughter being able to come. Has she even asked that question? When we interviewed her, she talked about signing her daughter up. Oh. So I didn't say anything because mm -hmm. I hadn't got the blessing from the board either. But um, I think it, as long as she pays for any activities that they would go on, I, I think it's a nice little perk to be able to have your child there. That's, but I do have to get the I do have to get the blessing of the board. Though. Okay, yeah. but I mean that's so we won't I discuss would... that until. But is that something that we needed to? Well, we all we did. did. We we, we, we kind yeah. of talked about it and just making sure that that's what we wanted to do because once you mm -hmm. offer it, then it has to be out there. Yeah. So. Um, I think we. Um, I'm willing to better. First child is a free or additional. additional Chat. She so we decided at the last meeting, mm -hmm. how do we handle it if um, they have children? And it was suggested that the first child is free, and on a case by case basis, they have to pay for extras, and additional children after the first one would pay a small fee. Okay. So yeah, I think that they absolutely said so. It's no no cost to so cost, no cost to the town, so to say. You know, but um, I would say that any trips. And whatever they, they cost, the cost of the things it would be on extra. Yeah. With um, no tuition fee, but pays extra trip fees and et cetera, right? Yeah, well, yeah, whatever, you, whatever the, the people had included in their tuition, tuition rate. Because that would be, it was, I mean, you it was your state have parks, it was all, you know, that the buses was, and all that. Yeah. That's all waived, but extra trip fees. Etc. She needed an extra T-shirt. Yeah. So then, that we would give that you that assignment to let us know if that's something that we can talk to her about. Yeah, we'll I'll we'll vote on it Monday night. Okay. All right. Let me write that down. Um, we actually do. If I can bring this up, we need you to discuss um, age. Um, we, uh, you guys might have seen, I know Lori, you commented in about um, the email that we got regarding a child um, who would like to do teen camp who is, will not be 12 until September. And it's um, May 31st? Yes. Yeah, so, so I, before you came in, Kelly, that was one of the things I was saying. Oh, okay. I talked to Lindsay Lanzer, mm -hmm. classroom teacher. And she made the suggestion that instead of using a age, we use grade. a grade. That's what I was coming up with. That too. go anybody starting into seventh grade. Right, and we do we do do that for our younger kids, yeah. right? We say starting they need to be starting first grade. So that kind of makes sense to me. And that particular person would be absolutely fine. Yeah. There would be no reason that she. So if you know, I think I think we're gonna find that this teen camp is gonna cater more to that age group, mm -hmm. more of the going into seventh grade, going into eighth grade, yeah. as opposed to the older kids. Um, what was the amount of older children last year? What was the they, kind of they were mine. Your children. <laughs> what do you mean? What, um, they were the older ones. They were mine because I made them go. But <laughs> are you making them this year? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> what were you I was like, like, what is the age difference between you know? I don't believe seventh grade versus twelfth grade. I didn't. No, know. No, 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 no. So you, you, it's fifteen was the the highest range. Okay. 
Okay. So, and I think, yeah, my child was the only 15 year old. Oh, no, maybe that's not true. No, no we had one other one. Graders. Yeah. We had. What age are you? It's, it's 14 and 7th graders. Uh, 12. And it was still uh, between, Yeah, somewhere around there. Okay, so it's like only three year difference. 12 to 13. Two, 12 is young. They were, we did have two. They was, so Rhea was going into what? The, she was going into her sophomore year. I think there were two of them that were going into their sophomore year last year. Um, Yep. I don't think that we're gonna get many. I don't. I don't think we're gonna cater to that. Really, I think it's gonna be really going into the seventh grade. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. so too. So, so maybe we do need to change the wording on that. Is entering seventh grade? Yeah. I just have um, four twelve because there are some like we had an old er um, child who was in teen camp but was just going into sixth grade last yeah, year. Yeah, there's a student in my class who took just turned 13. Yeah. So, so you repeat a year or you have a late start. Yeah, you just start, start the, yeah. Yeah. you know, in New Hampshire, you know. Yeah. So I don't necessarily think we should do one or the other. I think maybe we should just, we should do both, well, and right? Do you, do 12, you, 4. Initially, we talk about it that it was kind of like a parent call too, like a parent would well, know. The, Call was on 12 year olds. Yeah. So a parent of a 12 year old could either enroll them in Camp Rally or right. in Teen Camp. They could not do both, though. They couldn't cross over um, during the week. But you could sign your kid up for one week of Camp Rally and one week of Teen Camp as long as they were no, different I don't, weeks. No, I don't believe we did that, no. You were in one or the other. Okay. Yeah. Well, the person we got the email about would certainly be. Camp. Yeah, there was no doubt in my mind. Yeah, she, well, and the mom made a point too was you know with her it's friends her going into yeah. seventh grade is right. So my guess would be she wouldn't do it if right. You know, it would be team camp. But my nephew camp. has that situation too. My nephew's going into seventh grade, but he has an August first birthday. birthday. Yeah. So I'm sure he might want to do that as well. My question is: Is do we open ourselves up to any liability by moving it? from a certain age on a certain day to, um, no, just, it's arbitrary. Yeah. And then, are we going to get flooded with questions and concerns of, because last year we had one request, and it was that their birthday was, before camp started, it was like June 15th, and so they would be 12 by the time camp started, so are we going to be feeling a lot of concerns? And I just think if you say you're going into seventh grade, yeah, we don't care when your birthday is. If you are starting seventh grade, yeah. Mm -hmm. What would be the youngest a child would be if you were going into seventh grade? Eleven. And having your birthday at the end of the year. Having your birthday like in September. Yeah, yeah. So then it's over. That person would be turning twelve, but camp is done. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I don't. I'm good with it. I, you know, I was around those kids last year, and I think if, if they're going into seventh grade, they're ready. I mean, yeah, they're ready for yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. So I, I, I think we can say, you know, 12 or entering the seventh grade. So do we change it now in the stream, or do we just allow this one to come in and take the rest of the requests as they come and change yes. it for next year? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wait, what's the question? Is your nephew coming? Um, I don't know. Yeah. That's it. That might be, you know, I, you might not have thought that he could either. So, and I know last year one of the parents approached me and said they were doing Camp Raleigh because they wanted a five-day-a-week program versus right. yeah. a three-day-a-week program. So, which is perfect. They partly parent it. preference yeah. to do Camp Raleigh versus. Well, and I think we actually had it. Didn't we have a 13 year old in Camp Broadway last year? I don't know. I can tell you the family. I only I had to catch you by grade. <laughs> because there were, the brother was in teen camp, and I don't think the parents wanted them in the same camp. Uh, so you don't have a cutoff on Camp <laughs> Uh They have to be, and that's no, an interesting we thing. We don't. Um, have we don't. Entering they, grades. Yeah. Entering kindergarten through eighth grade. First. Or entering first. But um, so there was eighth grade. Yeah. Through eighth grade. So why are you saying 
teen is th to seventh grade. Well, I think it's because the start start parents can have that option. Yeah. Oh, because some parents want it five days. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Versus just the three. Yeah. Okay. But they can't do both. They right. can't take. We also received another email about a parent inquiring about her two children. Is it the scholarship parent? Yeah, I've already. Um, that's on my list actually to ask about. Not specifically the parent, but the program. If we have any. One of them is not able to go. That's what I was going to and get she at. She knows that. She already knows that. I've okay. already talked to her about that because the child's too young. Right. Can you go? Going into kindergarten, mm -hmm. um, but the other child is old enough. But she's also looking for a scholarship, and that was something different. Yeah, so I I was just yeah. confused about whether it was one scholarship or two because it made reference to okay, two dollars. Maybe one. <laughs> At this point. Um, so, but fun fact, if you guys want to know, so based on the camper count and the ratios and the grades. So we need 6.35 counselors as it stands today. We need 6.35. 6.35 counselors as it stands today. Right, so I have learned in math that you can't <laughs> cut people up like that. <laughs> <laughs> so seven. From a business perspective. <laughs> so we have seven. I need to know that. So we yeah. have 40, yeah. Yeah. 40, 40, 40, 40, 48. Thank you. Thank you. 48. I just got two um, registrations as I was coming in, so that's good. Um, what? I have four to register. And, and I have one. one. <laughs> well, I have to say I'm here. Uh, I, have, I know of three more that are coming in. Okay, that are so what yet. happens if you don't have the counsel ratio? Uh, we, if you get a... Well, last year, in yeah, year. Yeah, last year okay. we did. So what we did last year was um, because it's really the lower grades that need the six to one ratio. Mm -hmm. So as you get into the higher grades, four through whatever ends up being sixth or seventh grade, it's when your ratios can spread out to eight to one or ten to one. Okay. So we don't need as many okay counselors. We figured that out last year, and it's also based on the week too. Mm -hmm. So you may not have um, you may have. 50 students or students campers one week, but you probably have 30 the next. Mm -hmm. So we were able, based on the counts, to figure out do we have enough staff? And okay. We just so by June, by June 10th, we'll have a good idea. Hopefully, we won't get the last minute. Well, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, we'll be able to figure all that out. Okay. Yeah. So we actually have a couple of weeks, and I think that's why we designed June 10th this year. Yeah. We pushed it back, or I should say, up. We pushed it up because we needed more a le more leeway than we did last year to hire somebody if we needed to. Oh, okay. All right. Actually, my long-winded answer to your question. No, I, I got <laughs> it. Thank you. And Kelly, a petty um, application to come in today half filled out because they didn't know when it, the deadline was. It says it everywhere. June 10th. Yeah. So I circled, highlighted the deadlines and gave it back to you. Can I? Uh, just get it for the notes that we are a motion that we're in agreement to take in to fulfill the requests sent by email for the team camera. Seventh grade. For the seventh grade. Yes, so let yeah, we'll finish that conversation. So the motion would be to um, change the wording on team camp to read they need to be twelve years old. By May 31st, we can keep that, or entering the seventh grade. Yes, correct. I was talking for discussion purposes. Okay, so the, 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 did you say the 12th on May 31st? Well, that's what the current date is. So it would be, the lowest it would be this 11. Mm -hmm. That's what you're saying, the seventh grade. With it mm -hmm. being 12 that year. I'm good with that motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any names? All right. Okay, so, so does that mean we get to accept the one that was discussed? Okay. 
Yes, I will. I will send that. Email. I will email her. You yeah. Answer that one. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Will that be able? Will you be able to do that on with Sport Engine? Like, is there any type of block on that, or if? No, there's no block. Okay. No, they okay. can choose what they want. Okay. It's really up to me to go through and make sure that one. Is they're right. a, they're the proper resident. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they're the proper age and whatnot. So that's you. All right. Um, so we need to, to move on. I think there's more here. Um, so we've updated on staffing, reviewed staff to camp ratio or camp ratio. W4s for Caroline. Well, we have um, emails. I don't know why we couldn't send them to them electronically. I, I would think. Because um, if we've already got there, I think probably we should send it with it when it first goes out. But for those that we haven't done, I don't know why we can't send them electronically and then have them. I agree. I, I think also what we should do is take that opportunity to send them the W-4 and say you need to contact Caroline mm -hmm. at the phone number because you need to set up your new hire paperwork. Or return higher paperwork. Yeah. So maybe on that. I mean, so I think it would probably be good to. I'll have Carolyn work out the um, the timing, but because um, that's the only thing that she's that. looking for is a W four, right? Yeah, she need, she needs a new higher paperwork. If they're a returner, she doesn't need it. But there's some other sort of paperwork she's looking for. But we I thought working papers is there something? Is that but I don't new think you new that yeah. paperwork. Yeah, she put it in her email. Oh, I didn't see that part, but I knew that she was looking for the W fours. Well, they um, have to come in and talk to her. Okay. There's other paperwork associated. Okay. Okay. I've got a question mark next to it, and I'll talk to her on Monday. I'll but say I, it Friday, actually. I think that's what we should. So who want who, Kelly? Yes. Who Who you want to do that to send out the W fours to the staff? Well, and ask am them. I the one that has all the emails? Well, they Caroline has them. Why can't she? Okay. And then, because it, it will come back to her. I think it's because she was asking. It came to us as an ask from Caroline. I'll talk to her. Okay. I'll talk to her. I mean, if she's if she's uh, if receiving she the documents. Yeah. Let me let me know if, if she doesn't have to it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe if she doesn't want it. Or we can just instruct them to come down and get a paper. Right. You right. know, which is even better. Which is Thursday night is open till seven, um, and she can have them at the. Tax office. They can fill them out. And fill so out. here's the question. So if they're these these go out, the offer letters go out snail mail. Is that true? They go out regular mail. Yes. Okay. So should we should I be saying like to that to Melanie to come on down and fill out some paperwork? Or she hasn't got it yet. Okay. <laughs> do you want to mail it tomorrow? Okay. What's that? Do you want it? Do you want to email it to her to make it quicker? No. Do you want her to be an exception or? No, no, it's fine. As as I already actually, I already told her that if she wants to come down tomorrow she, and pick it up at the office here, she can. Okay. I'll have them on Caroline's desk tonight. Now let's just go with the, okay. the original plan. So <laughs> Denise is going to check yeah. in with Kelly or with Caroline, and then follow up with Kelly. I'll be back up. If yeah, I got to find out what more additional paperwork yeah. um, she needs, other and to than follow that. up with Kelly if needed. Yeah. Okay. I mean, because she can have them come in, or she can mail it to them, or email it to them, I would think. Uh, the next thing I wanted to ask about was meet the uh, counselor night. We did that last year. Oh, good, because I got an email from a friend of mine today. Yeah, so I was talking to Kelly about it, her and I were texting back and forth a few weeks ago. Trying to come up, come up some dates, and I was thinking, I don't know if that weekend before is cutting it. Close to me, like the Sunday. So you get Sunday night, and then you got Monday. All the parents. Right? I don't know if that's kind of close or not. Um, but ideally, I'd also would like to use that time to parents can pick up their parent handbooks as well, and they can pick up their T-shirts for the kids too at that time. So I'm thinking anywhere between the 10th and the start of um, camp, which is the 24th. Um, but I was thinking maybe the library. Where was it last year? Is that Camp Rodley? It was there right was at the school. Oh, it was. Because yeah. they were setting up. They used they use part of the time to set up. Right. Oh, the canopies and that, those kind of things that they had. Yeah, the night before. 
All right. And, oh, so that was the weekend before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we set up, I think we set up on Sunday, didn't we? And then, wasn't last year crazy because school ended on like, yeah, it was right? Late. Wasn't, didn't end like Friday was and we yeah. had like two days to. So yeah, that's the other thing is Rich going to let us come in. Um, it, it, you said Sunday was the setup day. So will Rich let us come in Sunday? Do we know? We got Lori. We got Lori Hess. So yeah, know. she's, she's our facility connection. Which she, well, she can let us into the building too. So we don't have to, right? We don't have to worry about that. I, I believe, I asked him, I believe he would give them, a, give somebody a bob. I think we talked about that on that paper too. Maybe, yes. maybe it needs to be. Um, director, I think, and assistant director probably need them. Or both directors. Well, usually the, um, the usually usually Patty will No, them. Patty won't need a, a FOB. It would definitely be a director, assistant director, because they'll be going, they might be flip-flopping opening also. I'm sorry, what's the date? Um, so it's Sunday, June 23rd. So if that's the case, then why don't we just do like we did last year then? Anyway, so they can do their parent report. I don't see anything that again that says a thing about that. Okay. Uh, I'll ask him about it. Okay. I could have sworn we talked about it. We did talk about it. No, but I mean, I, think, I thought Rich and I talked about yeah. it. Yeah. probably did. So ideally, Lori, it would be great to give two, to have the two. Okay. To um, the director and assistant director just for the summer. But that would be our wish list. I'm pretty sure we talked about it. Because I think he said that's what he's done before. Yeah. So maybe just it. I also, yeah, I like your idea of doing it. The meet the counselor night prior to the twenty third, because then you're requesting that all your staff be there for six days straight. I know it's not a full day on the twenty third, but you're asking them to come in on Sunday and then work Monday through Friday with the kids. Well, they'll be setting up anyways, right? We're gonna have to. I mean, we really can't get around coming in on the weekend. So, how many do we know for numbers? How many even did that meet the? Were there a lot of people that came in? Uh, I wasn't there. I was sure. there. gone. So I'm not sure. Do we know? Uh, That's no. why I was thinking if we should get on email to the counselors. I think I mentioned it to you and um, get get this coordinated to see if they can. Um, be there. Well, they're going to need to be available anyways. So they need to know what's expected of them. So it's right. expected that the 23rd is going to be set up. And it's also expected that whoever needs to see their first aid is going to be going to do it. I have been forwarding that June 8th to as many people as I kind of. Yeah, we kind of need to have a number, um, like I would say a week before, just so they make sure they have enough handbooks and whatever they need. Um, certificate or whatever, you know. So I'll give it so I can get a number and do we do copies of those cards? That's the other thing. Is that is their first day at CPR? Is that something that we're collecting? Hmm. Did we do that last year? We're collecting? I don't think we did. We, we made you, oh you mean a copy and yeah. a copy of the card and put it in the file? Mm -hmm. Is that somebody already asked me, do you want me to make a photocopy of that? I was like, hold on to that thought. <laughs> I know that you probably should, um, huh? Melanie needs to have it because she didn't have a card when right. she had it in someone's work last year, so she's got to take it again. Um, so, uh, but the other two were set. We're all set. Yeah. Um, so yeah, but I need to. I, I think I, we just need to have a week to give um, Sean the numbers, so he's prepared to know how many people and then he needs help. So that would be this Saturday, if we're doing it the 8th. It would be the yep. end of the mm -hmm. Yep. So, yeah, let's, yeah, if you can check with you. I, I already reached out to uh, all the counselors. Michael, yeah, we'll do yeah. that, because I know he was completely. And, if, um, and then I told, I, I told Melanie that we were having it the 8th at the fire station. Um, but, yeah, we definitely. Yeah. Um, so meet the counselor night. Who wants to help coordinate that? I can be there. Details. I can certainly open the doors. So is that a different night than you're saying on the 23rd, or no? Or it's the same day? 
I'm thinking probably the same. I mean, uh, ideally, I would like to do it earlier, but okay. maybe the 23rd. But when I say uh, who wants to help set it up, I'm thinking we need to contact them and find out if everybody's available on the same date. Yeah. And we also need to lay out the expectations of well, you need to, <laughs> we have set a time that you need to, right. to be there for any reason. So if we did it, if we did it on two separate dates, mm -hmm. had set up on the twenty third for a couple hours, and if we had to uh, meet the counselor, how much time are you thinking for a slot? So I think we uh, last year I think we set aside four hours for setup. And I think meet the counselor if I'm right was was it sixty or ninety minutes, like an hour and a half or something, or two hours at the most. I don't know, honestly remember. It was, that it was Jody that set that up, so I'm one hundred percent positive. <laughs> But I think there was like a like a two hour window, maybe. Um, so that'd be six hours. Mm. I like the idea of having it a little earlier than the twenty third because I already know the twenty third. I have plans with my family, and last year I swooped in, grabbed the t shirt, and swooped out. Um, and I didn't even bring my kid because he was at his grandparents' house to meet the counselors. All right, so I think maybe at this point anyways, we may be, it may be subject to availability anyways. So, but I think as far as staffing is concerned anyways, if I could just back up, we, we have to start laying out the expectations for the staff. And I know that the director should be doing that. Um, we just need to either get with the director as soon as possible so she can do that, or we need to, we need to do it. I'm happy. What about what, what do we think about like the thir the Thursday night, like the twentieth or something? Well, I think that isn't the library open late on Thursdays. On Thursdays they close at five. The other nights they're open till seven. Um, Would you rather have it that at the library? Then? I don't know think. Town hall is open on Thursday night. Town hall is open Thursday night. Okay. So if you said Thursday the twentieth. Okay. That's what I was just looking at. Yeah. Like, but. I mean, if we, depending on where, you know, town hall is here, or what'd you say about library was when? Five, and Thursday night, so do yoga down there at 6.30. So, so, so no, what day. about, so what is another night that's late at the library? Oh, Wednesday. there's seven, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So maybe we think, maybe the 19th, if Wednesday is better, we would do it at the library? Six to seven? I say, I say an hour. Yeah. I say, I say an hour. <laughs> Keep it short. Well, at the end of here, and I, if I'm not here, then this closes at seven. So right. So the other one has to be out by seven because then I don't want to Perfect. hang it around. So we need to line up the counselors and make sure they're available then, and we need to make sure the library will accommodate that. Yeah. And then we need to make sure that all the parents are notified. Okay. Of the counseling. Okay. So that's you. I'll talk to the librarian. Yeah. <laughs> you're like sports. You're like sports engine master. So, <laughs> so for the to do list for the much more than me. <laughs> to do list for meet the counselors is um, contact staff, mm -hmm. contact parents, contact the library. Right? Yeah. Not. I'll take on. Now. I'll take on the library role. Okay. I'll, I'll ask about Wednesday the 19th if it would be possible to do an open we'll meet the counselor from 6 to 7 p.m. Okay, and who do you want to contact uh, the counselors? We need to make a contact list for them. Yes, we do. Which means that we need the... Well, I think the first person we need to talk to is Melanie. Which night is better for her? I, mean, I need to see Melanie. So yes. We all need to sit down with no <laughs> A while ago, a couple months ago, you sent out a staff handbook. Did you ever find the one that you updated mm. for camp early? Sure do not, so I have to start from scratch. Uh, oh, I just hold my little tick list here somewhere. <laughs> okay, it's on one of my sticky notes of things to do. When yeah. are you planning to get to well, it, has, it clearly has to be done soon. <laughs> Same with the parent. Yeah, I can't believe So, contact staff maybe by a Melody, and who would contact Melody? Kelly's the staff master. Okay. What am I contacting you about? About Wednesday or Thursday? All right. Yeah, I'll do that. Dee, are you making my to-do list? Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I didn't break any extra paper. I'm glad I have my folder in my car. David, I see you have <laughs> a sliver with me. Thank you. All right. Okay, so let me check. Do you, do you realize we're only on the second bucket? We know. We keep. Okay. But we so, did the last one, or the second to the last one. And registration is pretty, you guys can see that all that. It's all laid out. It's with one of our registrations. Money. Do we talk about money right now? Uh, yes, we do. Oh. Sorry. Um, it has been brought to my attention that we can start putting purchase orders in for like Team Camp and that we need to get approval from the rec committee to put in those purchase orders before we go. Do so do we have to vote on those things? Is that what you're you saying? You guys my understanding is that you need to give because it's money we should probably have a motion. Um you brought it to your attention, yeah. Caroline, that we could start getting purchase orders out for teen camp so that we can start securing. I don't know, that makes it difficult when we don't have all our members in for teen camp. But she said we could go up to, like, 20 kids. Like, I stopped and I got a gift certificate to, um, where was it, um, Indoor Sense in Dover, and I got his group rates. So for 20 kids, it's going to be... Max 350, and so we could do um, like a purchase order to indoor scent, which would be the last week of teen camp, for up to 350 dollars. And if it comes in less than that, because we have less campers, then that's okay. But this would give us a chance to tell the select board where we're spending our teen camp money when we get it, if that makes sense, and to start showing where we're spending our money and that we're planning ahead and that we're planning. And it's not saying that this money's going to go out. It's saying this is where we plan to spend our money. It's my understanding. Why would you do a PO if you're not going to do it? Well, it'd be, like, we already have things on the schedule for Teen Camp, and we've talked to some of the vendors. Like, it, like I've talked to Coco Key, who is in July. Yeah. And I have a price for Coco Key... Um, Coco Key Water Park is $25 per person for the four hour pass. And then, um, if we wanted to do the meal plan, it's $9.50 on top of the, so it'd be $35. Um, and we have to reserve um, 30 days in advance. So then this would give us the opportunity to t say we're going to reserve 20 passes at most up to um so you know what i think about that this is what i think about that i say we have a meeting with patty who is our teen camp director yeah. and we say you need to go talk to caroline and because this yeah. is part of your job and that's Great. what i say <laughs> no i mean i as a selectman am not going to be signing po's if it's not something that's going to happen for one I mean, that doesn't make any sense to me. If you, if you definitely know you're going to do something, the sooner the better for getting a PO in. Now, maybe that's what she was trying to tell you. Because we don't have cash, you know, and it takes two, it, if you're on the off week on a check run, it's, it's two weeks. So I think that she was just saying, be prepared. But I don't think she was telling you to put POs in for stuff that you're not sure you're going to go. That Because that's, so I think so. I, I think we need to table this conversation yeah. until six ten, when all our registrations are in and we have an idea of how many um, people people are yeah. coming and and so what it's looking like. You also have to make sure that these things, because they sound expensive to me, these things are part of what you're budgeted for. They are. They are. Twenty five dollars a head. Mm -hmm. Okay. For one up, for one thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So my question yeah. is, backtracking a little bit, are we thinking that teen camp's not going to go to some of these things? Because they're already on the schedule and parents are signing up for no, these activities. No, no, no. no, I didn't say that. Okay. Well, I just say what well, you're saying. You're, like, saying you're, you're looking into events and stuff, and you're and you're looking. But is that thing 
Was that budgeted, that particular item budgeted? Yes. Oh, okay. That's not, yeah. we, I didn't get that from your so conversation. Everything that the purchase <coughs> orders I'm saying we put in are the activities that are on the schedule for teen camp. Okay. They just don't know the number yet. Right. Okay. So, so that's why she's And that actually activity. might change the, well, it, it will change the price for the more kids, the more, but also there are some that changes the price to, if we have 20 kids and it, it actually goes down. It is because they cheaper yes. for the more you have, yeah. right? Right. But I still think... You think that's a Patty thing? I think that's a Patty thing. So and that's why we hired her. When Patty has, <laughs> Patty has to see Caroline anyways, right? Yes. So well, we'll someone has to... Yeah, and Patty should be doing the... Yep. the, the that's, you're paying the drivers yep. to be running the program. The running the program is running the cash and doing the yep. videos and stuff. Yeah. Yep. But we need to get her on board. <laughs> Yeah. I did a lot of that yeah. last year. Yeah. Oh, well, that's it's all good. On board. Director. That's why she's a director. <laughs> <laughs> director. Can I ask, can I back up while yep. you're writing that? Does anybody want to help do some data entry and enter some applications into Sports Engine and registrations? Anybody? I, I will. If, uh, yeah, I don't know how to do it, but I'll be glad to help. No, I'll give you my. Um, Log in, okay. and it's really just, it's really simple once you get into okay. Sports Engine. Now what is this, the people dropping off? Oh, you know what? Register. I, weren't you you have to make sure you go in as an admin, too. In order to do that, you, you click a register for someone else box, and then you can add in everybody's information. Weren't you going to add me to keep, to. to keep an eye on team and find out how many we were having, so mm -hmm. I could get more clear numbers? I was supposed to. Yeah. Let me put it on my sticky note. <laughs> that's the way yeah. yeah, I was supposed to. That's my fault. Anyway, so I give you my credentials and you log in under an admin okay. as an admin and check um, registering for someone else. Okay. And then you would just go through the steps mm -hmm. and okay. answer. You basically just answer questions based on their application. Okay. Does that sound all right? Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, I haven't, I have never been in it, so you know, I don't okay. have questions. Okay. And I'd be glad to do the that's data okay, entry. That's I, fine. Yeah. I just appreciate the help. Yeah. Anyway, so. Yeah. Absolutely. No problem. All right. So I'll give you my credentials. And, my hands. and do you have the link? I don't think I do. Okay. I'll send it to you. Okay. okay. Do you have anything else in terms of money or POs? No. I, I have lots <laughs> under grants and activities. Oh, okay. Well, would you like to skip to that? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I talked to the Fisher Cats yesterday. Um, their game on July 17th is starting to fill up. Okay. And they want to know if we are still interested mm -hmm. in tickets. Mm -hmm. The tickets are eleven twenty five per person is what we agreed on last time. They accept check or credit card with a fifty percent deposit down as soon as possible and we can pay in full when we get there. So and they will leave the at the will call window our tickets. They will not send them unless we're paying in full. So we can um, Guesstimate right now, and then we can adjust our numbers later. On this is for Raleigh, right? It's for both. For both. Yeah. Okay. Um, they can prepare and provide us with an invoice based on our actual numbers. Um, the they have bus parking. They the bus drivers um, drop the kids off in front of the stadium, and they go in with the counselors. Then the bus drivers are instructed to go to the west side ice rink and they get shuttled in and then bus drivers get free tickets into the game. Oh nice. That's nice. That is nice. Um, they can, the kids can bring in bags but they have to realize that they have to be checked so that all the kids with bags will have to stop and have everything looked at. And they can bring in their own lunch but um, the ticket for 11.25 includes lunch doesn't it? Includes um, 
peanut butter and jelly or a hot dog chips in the soda. And they can up they can bring additional money if they want to get other snacks that's at our discretion or pizza it would be an upcharge. And then the fun zone will be open during the game, which is the bouncy houses along the back side of the third baseline, and that is an extra charge of ten dollars per child. So they should bring cash if they want to do that, or if we're going to allow the kids to do that. <coughs> um, I have a contact number for him. The game is scheduled to start at 1230. Um, and, or 1235. The gates open mid-morning between 9 and 1030. So if we get our kids on the bus when they get here, they could go to the stadium and spend all day there. And then the game usually lasts two and a half hours, so they would be done by three-ish, a little after three, and they'd get back on the buses, they'd be back around four. And that's July, what day was that? 17th. 17th. Okay. And it's a Wednesday, right? Yeah. yeah, it's a Wednesday. And if it is a rain out or weather related yeah. thing, <laughs> our tickets would be moved to whenever the game is rescheduled. I think it's a good idea to go early so then everyone can be together. You know, depending where is this? Where is this? Manchester. 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 The Man Manchester Fisher case. Yeah. Um, so I told him when I talked to him last night that I would see. I was really hoping that I'm confused <laughs> after our last meeting mm -hmm. about the money and mm -hmm. it coming in and going out and. So that was part of the reason I... Do you mean as far as I'm collecting? Yes. So and we were going to post it against one of the budget line items, which was, pro I think it was programming, which is what we talked about the last time, right? Okay. Because we, we were concerned that we didn't have anything to post it against, right? I was there. Yeah. Right, so we needed um, the income and then we needed the expense, right? So I think we figured out, well actually I know we did, we we're going to yeah. post it against programming and I think that was in the last notes. Yeah. Okay. Because when I talked to Caroline, she said from her end, it doesn't matter where we put it in our budget. Mm -hmm. She has three general ways of bringing in money and sending it out. So it's either like tuition, transportation, or mm -hmm. like activities, or, or I think those are the three that she... Um, or sales are the three incomes that she has. Well, the teen camp would all be included, because so that's a separate. Right. So teen camp, we wouldn't have a problem with. But for outgoing funds, she has like um, activities, transportation, and then she has one more category. Um, so this would, the buses would fall under transportation for her, and this would fall under activities. So as long as we remain in our full budget for Camp Raleigh, she didn't see a problem with us collecting money, even though it's not in the budget line by line, if that makes sense. It does. By collecting money, I'm confused by This is above and beyond the tuition. So, and it, oh, I, that yes, people have addition. to pay an yes. additional pay, amount of money. They have to pay 1150 okay. for their ticket to the game. That's not part of their tuition? No. Oh, this is something different. Oh, okay. This, this is an up, not included. This is an upcharge to go to the game. Okay. It's a special so event. We're calling it a special we're, event. You're, we're going to collect the money. We're going to turn that money in. She would probably put it under the tuition. Or, or okay. yeah, but we'll figure that out. But so then, what the money she receives is the money that she can cut. Right. A check for. But we wanted. So I wanted before we pursued it further mm -hmm. to. Make sure that we were above board and going through this the right way. Because I didn't want to pursue something that we, in the end, couldn't do because we couldn't collect the fees. How are we going to collect the fees? Not through Sports Engine, right? No. No, it's going to be someone's going to write us a check or a cash. Yep. Yeah. And, well, and who's going to who's yeah. keep record of that? The directors. Yes. Yeah, they did that um, okay. before. It was Brittany kept good records of things. Okay. Because we have to, I mean, that's part of the auditing is we have to be able to show who paid. Five dollars for a trip, or five dollars yep. for this, five dollars okay. for that. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we weren't doing. They don't. Do we figure that out? The transportation. 
was included? Is that what we decided? That the transportation for this game Monday. is included because they're not going on a field trip that Monday. Okay. So we are the, basically switching. The the, yeah, so Monday they're not going on a trip. So both groups are going this week to the Fisher Cats game. And so the kids in Camp Raleigh that want to go would be charged eleven fifty. The teen campers, it's included it's in their included. registration and their tuition, yeah. and they're going no matter what. Yeah. Well, this is one of the reasons why I want to talk to Melanie, too, is how, how we're going to handle that. And these are the activities, the count for activities is what we want to know in advance from the parents, right? So I wanted to ask her how she's handled that in the past and, and what we can do, or how we should handle it, period. So do we want so, so Caroline needs to know though that teens money is, is part of that. So those children wouldn't have to be paying this additional right. fee. And the only ones that would have to is Raleigh. Right. Okay. Okay. So do we want to move forward? Because they need to know our total numbers by June seventeenth, which gives us a um, so June 17th? Which gives us a week after registration closes. Perfect. Um, to give them our final numbers. Mm -hmm. Are you going to have a final number to know who's, who's going to pay additional funds? I think we have to go off we of... Just, they just need to know the number, right? Right. So we would go off of how many campers are registered for that week. Well, if we're closing in June tenth, my idea is June eleventh, sending out a note to all the sports engine parents, having this stuff pretty much solidified, saying by the end of such and such a date, you know, let us know who's who's going to do what activity, and oh. so we have a head count. Okay. So but the one that so you say you have a bus. So what what program are you canceling, and and doing the, the game later in the week? Did you have a program for that day? Oh, you didn't. You just had a bus assigned for whatever. We did not. We knew when we planned the camp. I went and looked at this prior to us planning the camp okay. back in April, that this was the week. The only day. The only day that both kids do it. Yeah. Because the following week, um, yeah, it's, it's like July 25th or something. It's eight days later or something, or the 26th. Um, after this, both the Fisher Cats and the Portland Sea Dogs are having their camp days, but they're not playing each other. And this day, the Fisher Cats are playing the Sea Dogs, and um, it's a Thursday, so team camp couldn't go. So this way, both camps get to go on the same buses, and we don't have to get an extra bus to go. So that week, uh, uh, we're not going anywhere on Monday. So we basically. Move the so what if what if the child if you, isn't going to go to the game? What are, what are we doing for an alternative? It'll be a stand back. It options. will be a stand back. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. okay. Yep. Yep. That's standard. Okay. Kathy's running that. Yeah. <laughs> are you doing stand back? Yeah. I could. Yeah, Kathy. My question well, is, when's the, when's the check due? You said the 50% or something is due? They would like it. They would like our numbers right now. Uh, we can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have 48 signed up, so give them a 40 or something like that. Do you have our numbers from last year at that week? I love you on Sports Engine. <laughs> <laughs> um... I don't know if I have that handy. Yeah. I don't have it in my spreadsheet. Because that might be but an interesting And I mean, whatever week was that? So that would be one, two, three. Is it fourth? I mean, I can, I can look and see what I have. I think it was, it was high, though, if I remember right. In the fourth week? We had, I mean, all numbers were high every single week, and we're up in the 60s. I remember, sometimes 80s. Depending on the week. Alright. I can't, I'd have to look for a while. Um, Could you tell me 
for the 2019 season, how many teen campers are registered for that week? Not too many. Okay. We don't have many campers right well, now. Well, if you, if you, if you say, well, say, say you put 40, it would be a first come first serve basis yeah. of the first 40 who want to pay them money up front. And then if you can add on, great. If you can't, it's a first come first serve. I'd say it was three or four of that week. Because two of them are the whole summer. One is six weeks and one is three weeks. I just didn't write down okay. what weeks. So I guess I'd like to make a motion that um, we contact the Fisher Cats and say 40, minimum of 40 campers. How many fit in a bus? Do you have one bus? 70 or 79. Those kids right now. Yeah, that's, <laughs> a, that's a reason why we had counts is because we need to make sure we have counts. our buses. Yeah. So it would be um, so. So when I send out sort of like a survey of parents, I have to include the Jenny Thompson pool days too, the Fridays, to make sure that we have proper head count. But that's not as important because right. we can still run that program with one bus. Because we did that last year, they they just oh it's a close oh, enough. Right. They, enough they, they do they back. can come back yes yeah. right. so that's sort of more of a non issue yes right. but we may as well capture it anyways right might as well if we can uh, yeah but you're right we can. Right. it's so close that we because we we, we had to do trips. that a couple times last year and it was just you know 10, 15 minutes mm -hmm. that somebody was waiting. Just let me write this down. I think, I mean, I think you go with 50, 50 kids, don't you think? Well, 50 50. kids? I would. That includes team. I think we yep. started yeah. there. And just let them know that you won't have a proper account until the day they gave you, which is June 17th. Okay. So you made motion to contact Fisher Cats and let them know we would like to hold at least 50 camper tickets for the game on 7-17-19 with an additional update to come on 6 17 19. I'll second that. All in favor? Uh, Aye. Yeah. And would you like me to have them invoice us for the. Yes. And then we can get. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So um, invoice. Yeah. Okay. Um, Accounting question. Mm -hmm. Invoice, will that need to be two separate invoices, one for team, one for Camp Rally, or can we bundle that together if it's separate? Sure, we can break it down. As long as we know the numbers, we can one invoice. So it can be one invoice? Okay. Well, I think we'll just, we'll probably need to know team and Rally, but right. estimates will be fine. We can use one invoice. Okay. I don't see why we couldn't do that. How she handle that when you have the buses in the middle when you have them both on there? She I must take know. a percentage of one sixteen and one. I think we counted two. We separate we separated out the pool. We only got one invoice, but we counted the team campers and, and yep. took that it was one invoice. Yeah, mm -hmm. one invoice. Yeah. But we did no numbers leaving how many kids were teens and how many were there. Yep. Okay. D, do you have, um, I can help you about that later. Okay. <laughs> so what's next on the list? Um, TC and Jay. We want to talk about that. I know I started to send you something. I don't know if it actually went out to you or not. It did. Okay. Okay. So, this is what the letter, that's a copy of the letter that was in the email. This, D, I will, I only have one copy, but I can circulate it around. This is, this one was the original one that went out. I highlighted that we said that we have shirts with them on the back and that we had, um, I bolded the 
next line. Because, oh, okay. Because I added that. And then I highlighted down below where the money is. And then um, you requested that maybe to make it easier, we make the second in email into bulleted points and so forth. Yeah, I just think it was just summarizing what we can do. So I did that. And um, that is what the second email looks like, bulleted. Um, it says, um, is this our generic form? I kind of, sorry, I missed all this. Um, this is um, CJ. Oh, yeah. But if, if oh. it is, if I make a comment on it, I read this and it's like, to whom it may concern, it is not good enough for me. It's either to Bridget or to um, Jimmy. Mr. Jumper. <laughs> because of the amount of money that they give you, to whom it may concern, is almost an insult. You know, to the, like, you don't even know who I am. Jimmy you know? does not actually deal with it. It's Bridget. Bridget, Bridget. Right there on the top. That's right. I'm not sure that, um, you know, dear Bridget or um, or something of that. You can and be a little more personable. There is a, a VP there that does it, but I'm not sure what his name was. He, he was the one that did it last year. But that's because she was out. But, right. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, she did, when I, she did family day, yeah, that's why I was dealing with. Um, so I think it's like his marketing person. So this is the whole email, right? This is all of what you would send. This is one email, just split out the options. Yes. Okay. That would be the second one if they responded that they would were willing to respond. They were willing to sponsor us. You're changing the verbiage about uh, the movie, right? The movie license. So yes. we don't want. Um, what did the negative? D sent me a update that I did. Um on that copy yeah. take out that said um, over the last few months um, we discovered we needed a movie license yeah, we wanted to get anything and take out yeah. the violation of the yep. Yep, yep. Um, and um, so over the, yes I did <laughs> I have like four pairs next to my bed. <laughs> we discovered we needed a we were strong at the bottom. Sponsors to help. I realize I forgot the word help. Us gain yeah, yeah. a movie license for the summer and possible additional. And that should be possibly additional uh, up-to-date equipment to go with the license. Uh, the movie license is essential to our program as it ensures a variety of safe, enjoyable, and age-appropriate activities on bad weather days, which includes rain, storm. Should be stormy days instead of um, stormy days, and on days the heat is overwhelming. Most of the days um, we are limited by finances and transportation that only allow us on site options. Hence, we are looking for a thousand dollars or more for these pieces of equipment. The breakdown of costs a three month movie license is $100, a projector is $150 or more for the quality we are looking for, and $230 for a portable screen that we can store and reuse season to season. So, do you have options if they choose not to sponsor the, to sponsor the projector and stuff? Do you have options? Yes, Lori said we could, the school is offering us a laptop and a smart board. Mm -hmm. So if we just get the movie license, we do have the option, but we, talked at our last meeting that it would be really nice to have a projector and a screen of our own. Mm -hmm. And I put in minimum prices so that with a plus sign after them said we'd like mm -hmm. more if possible. 
Um, and I also, they wanted last year a banner, so I put in that we took their suggestions from last year and we're trying to improve our programs and or systems, and we attached a copy of the banner, which um, was part of that email, um, to have displayed at our summer location throughout the summer, throughout the season. Um, there's a possibility we can recognize you on, um, and Dee wanted us to take that out. Um, we can um, recognize you on our social media and or other pages online, as well as our printed sources around town. I think it's, a, it's not a can, it's a will. We will. Yeah. Also, um, the banner that you had put it on there, I really think you should make it C&J blue. You know how they all of their stuff is the, the medium, almost the color of your shirt instead of the green? Because okay. that's their color. Okay. That's their, that's their logo, so to say, you know. So I can change, I can try and change the color. If not, I will go back. It was green because that's what's on the back of the shirts. Oh, okay. But I'm just saying, you know, you're talking to C&J who, you know, everything they have is that blue. Um, Celia, uh, donation option number two, the transportation funding, are we asking them for money or are we asking them for bus, a bus? Well, that was something that we had discussed before is that they might, they have in the past provided buses <laughs> for <laughs> people to drive around town. And to, yeah, um, you have to. Um, that maybe a bus, you know, a, that maybe something um, um, was that? Was that a, well, I don't bathroom. Did she just went to the ladies' room? Did she? I don't know. Um, so. Okay. Did she? Did she fall? She was walking, kind of. Oh, I didn't. Is she okay? Is she okay? She had the door locked. Well, she's in there. She's around. She's in there. She's in there. Oh, she's in there. Does she need any? Kathy's in there. Let me see if she needs it. Do you have any extra water? I'll crawl under. Do you have any extra water? Do you have any extra water? Oh, no. Um, I, there might be. I don't know. Oh, no. So oh, sorry. That's okay. I mean, for data reading the card. Do you mind, David? Of course not. Do we want to take a recess from our meeting? And so, do we want to stop the meeting? No, let's keep on going. Thank you. Um, okay. So it was uh, it was suggested that we ask them in the past to see if they had a vehicle, maybe for team camp, that they could drive. And we talked about the Berwick. Academy buses, the buses that are in the yard. They store them there. Yeah. They store them there. Are they willing to provide us? Uh, I don't think they own them. I don't think they do. Think but they're just storing them because they don't have a, mm -hmm. any storage facility there. So I'm wondering, so the question is, are they willing to help us provide transportation or are they willing to provide money? I'm, as I'm reading this, I'm looking at it thinking, I'm not sure they would understand that that's what we're asking. Because I kind of didn't understand it either. I'm thinking, um, so transportation at a cost of less than two hundred fifty for such such hours. I think. Um, can we re? Yeah, can we reframe this and just ask for um, just flat out ask a bus? Can you donate? God, I don't know if they would. Donate. I don't know if they would either, but but it's, I mean whatever they they put out is like what they can't do in their, their runs, you know? I, I don't know yeah. how many buses they have in soft, and, you know, how many okay. spare buses, so to say. My, um, my theory is always ask, it's a no, it's a no. Yeah. You know, is she okay? I don't know. Uh, David just went to grab a game right from his car. Oh, oh, no, she, all right, I don't know. She might need a, just a chair. To, she's very dizzy and she looked like she was dizzy when she got up. Yeah. Because she bumped into the chair and then she went. Oh my goodness. I didn't even notice. I, I didn't just... even notice it. That's terrible. I didn't even notice anything like that. Oh, come on. Let me see. Thank you so much. Let's see. Pick her flavor. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm happy. Okay. Anyways, 
I they would, they uh, borrowed your chair. There's another one over there. Celia, I tried to read this for you. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what she just, so she could sit. Yeah. 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 Do you have vehicles that um, you could give us at a reasonable rate? That's what just kind of read. Or, well, I don't know because they're pretty. I was gonna probably say expensive to charter, so maybe. Um, yeah. And they're I mean, they're so plush now, and every. I mean, I did. I I just don't see that happening. <laughs> but. Um, and I can't I see know. asking them for money for a different bus company either. No, no, no. So, like, yeah, it's kind of what we pay for my competition. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we should maybe take that out altogether. The transportation part of it? Yeah. I'm thinking maybe they would do the projector or something of that sort, but I, I don't, yeah. I, don't, I just don't think that they have, like, anything small that could, team could, you know, I never, I don't see anything over there that's, it's all the great big... Somebody houses. had suggested that they provided in the past a smaller vehicle. Well, it could be in Portsmouth. Uh, I mean, it could be in other locations. And a driver and mm -hmm. offered to drive people around to look at something. So... For camp they did that? Not for camp, for uh, another municipal type thing. Oh, well, the, the, well, yeah, but it's a whole different clientele when you're dealing with adults and taking them, you know, around to do... Yeah, I, I could see them doing that, you know, but I don't know if they want kids who are going to the beach or the to come back and then sit in there. Uh, let's let's just add, let's do this. Let's just ask them if they would still sponsor the t-shirts because I, I know I have to place an order. We have fifty-five camp dollar t-shirts, and already I don't have any ones. So I know we still need to order shirts. So how much did they give us last year? Fifteen hundred. Would they be willing to give us fifteen hundred? Again, it may be split. So it was 750 for shirts, 750 for activities. And you can keep, ask. In, keep in the movie license as part of that. And um, is there something else that we. The um, license and the projector. The, the license, the projector. And the screen. And the screen, which I think okay. is all under there. Yes, okay. And then. So if they, if they did it yes. 1500, you'd. you'd Got in half. Half would be for T-shirts, and half would be for these other things that we need. And yep. um, and you'll put out there, you know, just like you did the thank you um, for your donation. Yeah. Um, so here's some of the changes we are making. Natasha, how about here? Right. right. She looks a little bit better. She's drinking some Gatorade. Thank you. She's not as dizzy now. So. She One of my classes was first aid. She, she told me that she, she I asked her if she had eaten anything, and she said she had a sandwich a little while, so I don't think it, I don't think Is she diabetic? Is she diabetic? I don't think so. Um, um, that's almost what it looks like. Yeah. Is, did I put just in that one? 750? Huh? Did I put in stuff, just the movie? Stuff or did I put in three month movie license projector 150 portable screens 230. Okay, so that would be very close to here's 450, you know, 750. Yeah, and then you know, using the 750 yeah. by t shirts that you have to replenish certain sizes and stuff. Not that good. Yeah. Oh, she has another one, she, yeah, she, she seems like better. She, um, yeah, she does have something else. The flower thing, uh, the she's gluten free. Mm -hmm. I don't know, she has something else. Too. All right, we're wrapping up then? <laughs> almost, I know, almost. Um, so here are some of the changes we're making. I'm going to, I want to position it like that. I would position it as here. More like this is what we're giving you in return for 
Well, it, it's based on their feedback from last year and what they would like to see from us. Oh, okay. Well, how about we still position it as in, so we took you seriously. This is what we're doing for you. That's so exactly what we're going to do. It should say, on oh mine, it says, um, we've taken some of your suggestions from last year and tried to improve our programs and systems. And th these is how we're doing it. And have improved our process, not tried to. Um, we make it a positive that you have. Okay. Um, and then they ha asked for an invoice before they cut us a check last year. So it was the middle of the summer before we got the check for the t-shirts because they did not get an invoice. We thought the money was coming and when she got back from maternity leave she goes, oh yes, we need an invoice. And I said, we didn't know that so we've already bought the t-shirts so uh, what can we do for you? So. Um, she sent us the check anyway, but she, they need an invoice. So that's what the last two bullets on um, that are. Well, until you know what they're going to give you, you can't really give them an invoice. I mean, if they're, if they're going to give you the 1500 and saying, okay, we're invoicing this and this, which is equivalent. you going got to know what you, right. how much you're getting it before you give them an invoice. But, it, I mean, that takes 10 minutes to do an invoice that we can send right away once we know that they're going to give us something. So what I said was last year it was requested, it was also requested an invoice be forwarded to you. We want to work with you this year to ensure you get that. There are a few different ways we can go about providing you with an invoice. One option is to place our orders with a vendor and set you up to connect with the vendors directly for payment. However, please, however, we would still need a, to receive a copy of your invoice so we can track the amount of donated I goods. Give them that option. I, I really wouldn't. Or we can send you a purchase order invoice after the town, from the town after the bills have been paid out. Now you can send them an invoice. This donation right away. That way the donations get filtered through the town um, rec department budgets. Um, please let us know if these solutions are suitable to you and give us your feedback on what you think of this as an approach so we can determine if it's feasible. Because you potentially could have two or three Expensive. vendors for her to deal with, you know, the movie and the projector and the screen and, and, and the t-shirts. I, I say we will send you an invoice and, and, and the town will collect the money and don't have them go to the vendor. Because it could be multiple vendors. Right? I mean, do you, do, I mean, if it was just the printer, then it'd be right. a whole different thing. We're, we're not doing what they're going to do. Did you guys just talk about this? The, from the town of Rollinsburg, there were a purchase order invoice, which means the donation will go into the town budget, and we would draw them from there. That's what this we're talking about. In the past. Okay, sorry. Yeah, but I don't think that they have to know that. You know what I mean? I'm not sure I would tell them that either. Yeah, yeah I don't. I, well, like, I'm following the example set out this year by REF. They want to pay the vendor directly. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's our policy. So I am giving, I was thinking, maybe this donation would want to follow that protocol. Well, They're not I, a non-profit organization. Yeah, I think we... It's totally different. I think we let them tell us that. Yeah. I, I don't think we should approach it as... Right. Um, well, we can do this or we can do that. I think yeah. we just, you know, a donation is a donation. And, Okay. I don't think we have, they have to know about any sort of process or no. anything like that. Mm -hmm. So, um, we can send you a purchase order or invoice from the town after the bills have been paid out. Or, from the town. Why are we sending a purchase order to them? Because they're giving us money. They need an invoice. Bridget needs an invoice. Oh, not a purchase order, an invoice. An invoice, invoice. not a purchase order. Okay. They just want an invoice saying, this is how much the movie projector is, this is how much the screen is, this is how much the license is, this is the t-shirts. So breaking it down to saying, this is what these are, and our invoice to you, so then they're going to turn around and pay us that invoice. So your, your goal is to cover the invoice portion of the concern, right? So I would just say, um, after acceptance of 
the terms or after acceptance of this letter, we will send you. Yeah. We can. Um, how much they're going to get? They have to tell us how much they can give us, so then we know. So we know what we're going to do for an invoice for them. So. Well, they want to just be able to account for what their what their donation is, what so they can write it off. Yeah. Yeah. If we know what the donation is, then we'll make our invoice to be exactly that, and tell them this is how we're going to pay. For Last oh, year, well, it was also requested that you get an invoice be forwarded to you. We want to work with you to ensure you get that this year. We can send you an invoice from the town. Um, we will send you an invoice. Oh, Don't say from the town. We will send you an invoice because it's going to be from right. REC. Yeah, so I think I would just we, simply put in there somewhere that um, we will provide you an invoice upon receipt of signed. Approval of donation. Yeah, approval of donation letter. We will send you a an invoice upon, immediately upon upon approval of our request of a donation. Of a donation. Of a donation. Yeah. Um Do you want to keep in, um, please let us know your feedback, and this is all feasible. Do you want to take that out? We thank you for your continued support of our program. Exactly. Perfect. <laughs> I said, please let us know if these solutions are suitable for you. Attached, you will find a donation request letter. So I just took out that, give us, give us feedback or determine if it's feasible. I took all that stuff out. Yeah. Um, Simple. And then, yeah. thank you for your continued support. Please, my yeah. marker. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that is C and J. I also have two copies for Cumberland Farms donation. Thank you for that. Oh, it's fine. And that's the second one for Cumberland Farms. Um, the, this I brought plenty of copies of. With. Okay, so where are we here? Is this something that you just submitted? No, I can't submit it unless you guys give me approval. Because <laughs> it's got to go to the select board before it goes any place else. And so... Um, Is this what we're asking for copies right here? Yeah. Nice. Right. <laughs> so, um, under... We discovered at our last meeting, we were going to ask Cumberland Farms for snacks. We discovered at their last meeting, and it's on this last page under requirements, that if we request snacks, we cannot sell them again. They will only do donations of snacks that are free, given out for free. And so I suggested last time that we ask for a gas card to fulfill, uh, to fill Kelly's car for every time she drives to teen camp. And it was decided instead that we go big and we request money from them. So, um, I was just going to say they, they sell pizza too. We're going to have our pizza there, but we, we sell it. So, we cannot um, do that. Um, so, what if, what if that pizza though? We don't have to sell it if we could get enough to have free, free, like one pizza a day, or you know that everyone would be able to participate without paying. It's possible. I don't know. So it was requested that we ask them for our movie projector and license. So this is what the request is for companies. Momentary this is companies. There's an extra sheet of paper that because it didn't all come out. So, what if you you got a movie projector and all of that from both of you? I mean, you're so. Um, 
I was under the impression that we, last year, only one, we wrote several grants and only one came through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we asked all of our grants, grantors, for the same thing. So, David, did you want to um, did, did you see this one? Like yeah, that was in the. Um, so, yes. It was suggested at the last meeting that we ask for more than we need for the movie protector and so forth from Cumberland Farms. So that, because we probably won't get it all. We have found that the people giving us grants usually turn it down. <laughs> <laughs> or they give us only partial. So, um, the problem is when you're too detailed with grants and you get granted by two or three people the same thing, then what are you going to do? Because mm -hmm. if, you're, if you're making it so detailed that your grants, is, that's all you can buy, what are you going to do then? So, so what else so are we asking for um, on that one? Monetary? Um, yes, we have the monetary donation. It well, she sounds to the I, same thing. So I, I think, I almost think, I don't know, that you, our primary need is for extra activity funds and scholarships who, who create an array of entertainment for all the campers. I, I almost think, I almost think you stop yeah. right there. <laughs> That's your request. Yeah. I agree. Yes. Because, I mean, what we don't know is what they're looking for, unfortunately, right? So whether they're looking for specifics or not, if we ask for extra activities, then we can use it as we see fit, right? So if then CMJ doesn't give us money for a movie projector, then and they give us eight hundred dollars for can, activities, right? That's we can activity. still use it. Right. So did you want to read, the, do you read this one? I did. And so just do the first paragraph or I, just do it's the just first? Yeah, yeah. I say you, first yeah, paragraph. First paragraph. <laughs> Call it good. Okay. <laughs> we'll just, um, Celia, I think you're doing a really good job with these. Okay. I know. I do. I think you're taking on a task that none of us wanted, so for that, I'm very appreciative. Okay. I also have a Optimal date request. This is the email that you were asking me about, Kelly. That now she did get back to me, and she said early next week would be fine to get them back there. Um, this is when the cutoff. The cutoff is May thirty first, and she said early next week would be fine. I'm gonna type that right there. Okay. okay, that's what I'm. So it's just the second page right now um, that is required. This one right here? Yeah. Then we have to give them a copy of our budget. Um, and, um, what was the other thing we need to get to? Um, we need our budget in a couple of those things. I think you just write um, choices. You don't need that. Oh, right. This I'm one. Wondering, I'm actually wondering if it's too big for this one. Yeah, because it's optimal bank. I would think that it'd be a little more mm -hmm. here. I, I don't need. Did you give us a grant last year? No. Nope. Nope. Was that Newberry's? Newberry. 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 Yeah. I'm just wondering if this is to provide additional activities. Is there something we can throw in there, like an example? Um, an educational activity? Like this one, one of the things that we cut out, or some of the special activities we'd like to provide include look, bringing in local artists and speakers. Not like that. Yeah, maybe. Um, you need to, I think you need to keep that part of it in there. Because, um, so you I, can I say such as, such as. I'm just throwing a couple of. Or wild encounters. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, local artists and speakers, like we have taken advantage of some of these special activities and opportunities in the past. The funding to pay for these activities came from outside sources. So, just that first line, I think. Um, and 
either businesses have stepped up to expose the campers to such activities or presenters, presenters have donated themselves. Um, thus, we are asking for assistance this year to make these opportunities um, to reality. That's the same thing I think you've Yeah, I just wanted to see what she wrote. So, that um, so that's what... Um, so that... Um, because we had talked about bringing people in from the mill, and that's why I said artists and local speakers, because that would give us a chance to get, like, some people from the mill to come in. Or wild, like the wildlife encounters, encounters and stuff like that. Um, what was, you could, I mean... We talked about the wildlife shows. Yeah. Um, and we talked about the trick bike guy. Yeah. So that's why I said and speakers. So, um, yeah, it could be included in that. But the Optima Bank one needs to go through the town because it, the last question on there, when I did this one last year, does do you give to other nonprofit organizations? And we don't as a committee, but the rec, but the town does. So we have to talk to the select board about the ones that they do give off. Um, so then the third one. I am working on, well, the last one I'm working on right now is um, Kenny Bunk Savings Bank. And I just have one application here, and it's just basically got, it only printed out the contact question information on it, but they need, we have to decide, are we going for a grant or event sponsorship through them? And I sent Caroline an email this morning because it says, is your organization a program for which you are requesting funding, a nonprofit or a charitable organization? Are you tax exempt as described in the IRS Internal Revenue Code, either Section 501c3, which is a nonprofit, or 509a, 1, 2, or 3? Not a 501c3. So that's uh, what REF is. Right, and that's what the PTO was going towards. So I know we're not that, but I know we are tax exempt entity. So I don't know if we're 509, A, 1, 2, or 3. So that was my question to Caroline. Did she reply to you? She did not, yeah. Um, do you have active and responsible leadership paid and or volunteer? And are you able to provide adequate financial information, including income and expenses? So. I'm waiting for clarification on whether or not we actually qualify for working about the same okay. um, So, um, and they want to know how much we would like to request our project start and end date, a project description, briefly describe the program for which you are requesting a donation, including program goals and objectives. Please attach a sponsorship menu, which um, includes all sponsorship and levels, which we already have. That's our letter. Um, recognition. Please describe your marketing, media, and communication strategies to promote this event. Yeah. <laughs> the event date. <laughs> um, do you do press releases, media, media events, website placements, newsletters, etc.? So we do. Um, some of those things. Um, I'll go back. Um, the event date. Um, will a Kenny Bunk Savings banner be used or needed? Um, I would say yes. Yeah, we should get one. Um, You're probably going to mount a bit if it's an event day. You can it out. Will an ad be used or needed? Um, no, because we've, and so they want to know the ad width and height, if we're doing an ad, will it be color or black and white? So we're not doing any ads. I was going to say, we wouldn't be doing ads because it's not, you're not soliciting people to come to your event. Yeah. You are the, you what are I'm, the people. I think of all of that, I'd be interested in the banner, because it would be nice to we put up the banner yeah. on the first day and then we borrow it. We wouldn't do an ad, though. No. Um, if we're applying for, um, 
If you're applying for a grant of $5,000 or over, please complete the fields. If you are $5,000 or under, you do not have to provide, you do not have the financial information available. Um, please advance to the next section of the application. I don't think you're going to get $5,000 or under. Darn it. Yeah. <laughs> so, I was thinking under, too. Mm -hmm. Yep. Don't go, yeah, don't go. And then the final place that I was looking, oh, so then Citizens Bank also um, gives out. She just, she called her son. And get it? Oh, okay, good. I was worried about her getting that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Citizens Bank. So this is from Citizens Bank. Um, this is a, a list of the top bullet points are what they they do not discriminate against age or anything like that. So they're saying they're not going to discriminate against that. And then on the bottom, the bottom bullet points are ones that they do not have this for. And then um, my other one is, do you want me to call, um, convenient MD is based out of Portsmouth. And they have an office in Dover mm -hmm. next to Five Guys mm -hmm. and um, where's the other place? Um, Starbucks. They, um, part of their me mission is to reinvest in the communities and support great charities and organizations through sponsorship. And um, they like to raise awareness and make investments in organizations that help much needed to help provide much needed services in our communities. If you are looking for them, uh, they, we can get a information from them. Do you want me to go ahead and contact them? Yeah. Yeah. That's what we want. Yeah, exactly. We want a diamond. So, do you help with any of these? They're saying they do I like, Cumberland Farms, <laughs> we're going to, um, is pretty much done. So, I need permission. What do I need for this? <laughs> I need permission from the committee um, to move forward with the CNJ and the Cumberland Farms and the Optima Bank based on corrections. You have my permission. Yeah, mine. Yeah, mine. <laughs> Do I vote? Do you mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> and then they, all three of those could go to the select board on Monday. If you to make sure you're on the agenda. I will talk Sounds to like it's going to be a long night. <laughs> I will talk to Caroline. Okay. Is there any way, I know it's extra work, but so in terms of it being a long discussion. Is there any way you can do like a short little summary page for them, for the board? Just a quick summary. Does that help? Well, or does they have help? to actually sign off on on the thing. So. Um, the board bank and what was the third one? Oh, CNJ. Let me find out from Caroline if we can have a summary page attached to the grant with our signatures on that. And that, you know, because, <coughs> I mean, we're not going to have time to read all of these, guys, you know, you know um, beforehand, unless you can send them to the select board electronically before. Well, the last, the, um, the Dix one, I sent on Friday. I went back and I checked. It went to the select board. Yep. I'm not sure why. I got well, something today from them, too. Was it an email? Yeah. Yeah, I got some. Yeah, what did we get today? I, I didn't have a chance to open that. I didn't really even see it. There was um, there's actually two things from Dix. And oh, you know what? And then there was something about a password that we were trying to log into something. Uh, that was, I was, I got a password for Kenny Buck Savings Bank. Okay. That's so I you could disregard that one. Okay. Um, I will check into the Dix.
So, um, continue. Oh, did I get it because I'm on record? Did I get it because I was on the select board? I don't know. I, I, get, I haven't opened it, so I don't know. But if you got it, it might be because of rec. I think it might have gone to rec and not to the select board. Rec is the email on record for Dix. That's what I'm saying. I didn't get it as a select board. I got it as rec. Okay. I think. But I'll, I'll look at it. I'll let you know if I didn't get it as a select board. Um, oh, you know what? No, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. yeah. Thank you for submitting your proposal to Dick's Sporting Goods. You chose to opt in to receive information about our fund. Yeah. Our fundraising for dollars. Our fundraising for dollars. Yes, I did open that. That's yes, that's what it was. To learn more about this opportunity. Smart. For your, so did you sign up for that? Yeah, and I signed up for it last year. You know what they did? They sent us coupon books. Oh, but yeah. that's what they sent right. us. Yeah, that coupons. Um. So I'm going to continue with the. Um, I think that's the same thing. Convenient on um, the. Yes, can you continue on that one. Convenient, convenient and the. Kenny Buck. I should pick up with WGH. I haven't heard back from her. Okay. WGH? Yeah, yeah you, you sent something book. to, yeah, went to this hospital. Yeah, because they have it, they, were, they have a charitable. Well, it went to their foundation and I have not heard it back. back. Kenny Buck and um, Citizens. Send updated. Versions to um. I pulled it off my phone. So I'm going to send updated versions to committee, and and I'll um. I'm a bounty master. Why don't you teach her origami? Yeah, that's camp. a day. That's a day camp for dude. He's gonna bring. He's gonna do his bread and his origami. So, question yeah. about scholarships. They have not come in yet. Um, do we have? Do we know of anybody who's committee committing? To in the past, um, Kathy has been our person with Saint Mary's Church, right. and they've given us one. Um, the police department has given us one, and last year one came in from the Ladies Auxiliary of the Legion, okay. because we had a member on the committee from the Ladies Auxiliary of the Legion. I so we did want to check with Kathy about the church because I know there's one person looking for a whole summer resident. Whole summer. So we need to check in with Kathy. Okay. And I will check in with the police department and see what they're willing to give. And I checked in at the Noggin Factory, they do not give donations, but instead they have shopping days. So we would pick a day, and a percentage of our, their sales from that day would be our donation. So they would have, oh. so we would pick a day and coordinate with them, and then we would advertise, go to the Noggin Factory on this day, oh, and anything cool. you buy, a portion of it on this day, comes back to us. Oh, what's the percentage? It's only a small percentage, but she she can't. They're so expensive that it will be I good know. money. <laughs> she can't afford to give out money. Yeah. Yeah. And donations, so that is something to consider in the future. Yeah. If we want to do that. Margaritas does it too. Maybe we should all do that. Oh, Make and money. that should be our outing, our <laughs> committee outing. You know, also that place is. You see what the the li uh, friends of the library did with that. Um, oh yeah, that um, secondhand store. Oh, yeah. yeah. How did that go? I wonder. Awesome. Like five five grand. Grand. Five yeah. Grand. It was huge money. Yeah. I never but, made it there. But, but you have to put your name so in right away because it takes forever. Because it, take, because it isn't just something people, you know. So many people yeah. have to do it. Um, but that's it's something right down. down down the road, I mean, we should really definitely think about that. It was a great idea. I didn't, I never thought they'd get that kind of cash. No, where did that benefit again? The library. Friends of the library. Okay. Yeah, we yeah. sell shop. Um, That's awesome. Do there are a bunch of restaurants that do dinner yeah, nights out? McDonald's does it. Uh, Margaritas. Margaritas. Do we want to pursue any of that? Because I have a bunch of them on the drive already that we can. 
put our name in to do a night over the summer and then just tell the families you go to this restaurant on this night. That's it. And then they get you give a portion of it. So yeah. I mean that certainly is easy. Uh, that's an, yeah, that's an easy and I mean, there's nothing that you have to do. I mean we have to as a committee cool. just okay. there's one in Rochester. Yeah. The ninety nines does it. Oh, oh we did one in um in Portsmouth not that we would do this one, but I just think that could, uh, I think it was James. Yeah, James's group, we did that at Portsmouth Alone. Was that the session. Friendly Toast? Yeah. There's something going around with the, the yeah, Friendly Toast. Yeah, that's what it was. They, they did pretty well there. Yeah, um, there's also the, the new Firehouse Subs. I wonder if they'd be willing to, to do that, too. Um, Where's that? Right, right in front of all these. Right next to the Yeah, just opened it. So, um... They make some business. They do some 50C 13s, I think. They do fire. They do fire departments. I know that. Okay. So other than that, we've had no other donations coming. No, and I did drop one at TD Bank. Uh, I did a handful of stores in Dover. I went to a couple of the other places. And so on. And Yeah, it's just dark out there. Oh. Um, I think she had a little dance. So she said she could try to park out. She's going to be okay? Yeah. She's just. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Is that why there's a services or something coming and do a yoga session and I have not heard back from them. What about the one down here? here. There's yeah. the one that doesn't in the mountains at the library. Yeah. Uh, Selma Perry from Esker. She she organizes it and she um, she doesn't some of this yoga? She doesn't do it. She organizes it and sets it up, the room set up, sets it up for this one. But I think the woman is in the mill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Does it. yeah. yeah. And the, they do them at Sue's place on Sundays, too, down at the mill. Yeah. Um, and then I also um, talked to the candy store. So you're origami. I'm down for that. <laughs> I talked to the... Um, oh, the one in Dover? The, the Chewies and Louis, or Lickies and Chewies. <laughs> <laughs> I talked to him, and uh, he... I gave him a couple of different options, and he said... He's just been so crazy with business that he doesn't think he could pull himself away to come do a chocolate or yeah. something class. But I thought it would be cool to get him in the... Oh, really? So, um, they... And they looked at our sponsorship letter and they said at this time they don't think they could have done it. Well, would they be willing to do a one of those um, donate a percentage of the proceeds for a night sort of thing? I don't know. Um, I know the. Yeah, the and and oh, God, I love that place. I, I went in and asked them to do a chocolate um, oh, class yeah. at the in camp, and he said he's just too booked out straight. Mm -hmm. um, and so he doesn't think he can do that. Um, what about um, piece of cake? I have they do. Okay. They have classes there. Did and you? And she was a piece of mm. cake. Do we have the right name? Yes. Yes. In Summersworth. Uh, in Summersworth. And Summersworth. she lives in Rollinsford, right? I think so. I think so. Yeah. Um, they do uh, cake decorating classes and they do candy making, molding, and all of that. She might be willing to do something. Um. So then. Um, so I, oh, and I talked to the people in the mill about the cooking class for the teen camp, and they said they were going to get back to me, and I had not heard, and, um, I went down to open studios, 
last weekend or whatever yeah. it was, the 18th and 19th. And um, I caught one of them there and the wife's like, I think it's a wonderful idea. We should do that. But they have not written back to me. You have it on your team list. I mean, you uh, know. The, the cooking portion of it. Because I tried to talk James into that week because that was like a good, I thought it would be good. Well, he said he was going to start cooking classes in January, so mm. I I went I I hadn't heard from him, and so I sent him an email for something else, and I'm like, but hey, and he goes, we just got back. His wife is from um, Europe. Yeah, um, the last couple of weeks, two or three weeks. And but his wife is all about it. She's like, yes, we want to do it. But so then, we gotta lock him into that date then. Yeah. Yeah. So. And that's why I put subject to change. But I have a couple backup plans. Um, I've had David's nice bread. We could <laughs> send him in and he can make bread. <laughs> or um, I he make some good cookies too. I had a client that's trying to start a cupcake business. So I told her what it would be the ideal situation for her as far as marketing is so to come in and be like, have the cupcakes made, let the kids decorate, it would be perfect, send home business cards, so I'm trying to talk her into that. And then the other the thing was is to talk to Fig Tree. They're also based in the mill, mm -hmm. and they have a store in Portsmouth and a store in Newberry, and ask them if they are, if, if, um, what's, I know Mike, actually. So I was, th and I don't like too. So yeah. I was thinking if um, we don't hear back from Homegrown Eats, that we reach out to Mike and see if he would be willing to do the cooking class instead. Yeah. So okay. that's all yeah. the progress I've made. No, it's pretty good. Sounds good. I'm about dead. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so are we adjourning? <laughs> We need to. Are you okay there, Missy? I'm fine. Yeah, you're pale. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Lori, take care. Feel better. Feel better. So, are we pursuing the? We're going to continue with the convenient MD, the Kenny Bunk, and the citizens. Yes. Um, so, so Kathy, we, we need yes, to we are in charge now. <laughs> Kathy, we have a whole bunch of stuff for you to do. And we're here to say no. Exactly. <laughs>
because um, I know I have a couple of things booked in June other than the select board meetings. So, um, I'm always penciled in though. Um, what about um, you, Kathy? Um, what is your schedule like? Yeah, that's scheduled. Um, Wednesday nights, I work. Friday nights, I work. All right, I'll send out a note tomorrow morning, and you guys can just let me know. Let you know. Yeah. Okay. Um, it would also be nice to. Um, for Melanie to be at our next meeting, right? So, yeah, absolutely. Um, oh, oh. Both. What's yeah. Do you yeah. have Melanie's application yet? I gave her them back to her. Let me have a picture of her um, email address. Please. It's kind of nice to have one here. And the assistant, maybe. Yeah, we hire one. <laughs> yeah. um, maybe I'll make a phone call. Also, is some of them send out a reminder notice about the first aid and CPR course for the eighth? I want to make sure that. And that, uh, you know what? I did have a question. Is that at the firehouse yes. location? Nine, okay. to, 9 to 11 or 9 30 to 11 30, something. Okay. And I can um, confirm that to you. I sent it out. I thought you said 9 sent, to 11. I think it's 9 to 11 at the fire station. Okay. One, I did Two. want to confirm that yep. where it was. I Saturday wasn't sure of that. Eight, right? The eighth is Saturday. Saturday, yeah. yeah. And so, Kelly, that's will you do that? Will yeah. Them two hours? Huh? Yep. Hmm. I know they're going to do both of those in two hours. Remember, I asked you that, right? Okay. I confirmed it with Mark. Oh, mm. yeah. okay. Yeah, there's not that many of them. You'll be at four. Okay. Yeah. It's like some of them still have it. Yeah. So, yeah, there's not um, that many of them. But it has to be the counselors, too, which I didn't know. I thought it had to be many of them. It has to be the counselors as well. Yeah. 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 So we'll sure D, you had asked at the last meeting to let you know what weeks we're not going to be in. And I have that list for you. Okay. For what? Do you have a list you can hand me? Or do you want when I, do you know, when I already can look at Um. Oh, is this for, um, what is it? Or some, I, I can't even tell you that. Although I'm usually gone the first two weeks of August. And, uh, oh, shoot, I gotta give you brightness. Is it? I don't know how to spell his name. B R Y. Here, what do you want? How do you spell his name? B A R L Y. Yeah. Okay. I can't find the other that just came out. The rooster. Did the rooster just come out? Yes. At the end or in Hartford stream. I don't know if it came out under his name or the Is Brighton on update with his certifications too? Uh yes, I believe so. Or right. he told me that today actually. Yes. You might need first aid. I like to do basic first aid. What would that have come out of Celio Art Rollins for? Oh, wait, I got it. I don't know if it came out under his name or Rollins. Yeah, no, it was Rollins for. Let's see. June 12th. All right, there goes Brighton's. Uh, to me? Uh, yeah, to you. Awesome. Yep, thank you. Yep. 6.30 p.m. That has to be. That's the 12. Yes, yes, it does. Okay. okay. Yep. Yep. So what, how we'll get the other ones out. Um, Probably two hours. That's what I guess. Yeah. So you guys, you, you could meet on the 12th without me. Or maybe I'll skip. Well, it's not going to, it won't be all night, right? Did you find out what time? It's 6.30 6 30. p.m. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, it's late. Yeah. And so it'll probably be like an hour, at least an hour, hour and a half, I would assume. Oh, all right, well, I'll just send out availability tomorrow. Oh, we'll have to sign. Do we think we're doing a two weeks from today or less? One? What she's going to send us an email. We're going to okay. get her tomorrow. I'm thinking, too, if there's absolutely nothing that we can, you guys can go and do the following week. I just won't be here. What about the 13th? What did what you say about that? The day of the week is that? Thursday. I can't. Okay. I have a dinner that night. Okay. okay. Unless it gets canceled, but I doubt it.
All right. Um, motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Oh my God.